We are Didi and Arma, and in our daily lives, we support people on the path of self liberation. We teach time tested energy skills like Qigong, Tai Chi, internal alchemy, traditional nutrition, and meditation. We help people release stagnation, build energy, and become aligned with themselves and their purpose in life. In this podcast, we share the methods, skills, and solutions that helped us, our students, and now hopefully you, move forward. Let's explore transformation together. So, what's the story? What are we going to do? Yeah, we're going to talk about what is the Qigong approach on eating. Ah, that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. So... We're coming from a point where on one side, I think pe- most people realize that, well, the better mm-hmm. your food, the quality of your food, yeah. the better it's going to work for you. Yeah. But the other part, now we're talking more about you, the receiver end. The, yes. The, the, not the, only the receiver, the, 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 the preparator, the, <laughs> the person who's actually going to prepare the food and cook the food, etc. So we're talking Absolutely. about that part mostly now. Yeah. In this podcast. And I think that's what, an interesting one. Yeah. What can you do to benefit as much as possible from the things you eat? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and where does that start? I think what's very important is the realization that the food that you eat is energy. And... A carrot. Yeah. <laughs> It's orange yeah. energy. All energy. <laughs> and you are energy. Yep. And how do you... Um, what can you do to blend these energies? Yeah, because there's a sort of an alchemical process going, right? Yeah. I mean, the, the, the food you're, you're eating is becoming you yeah. in the process. So you are the result. Your energy is the result of what you're eating. Yeah. Yeah, and especially what you digest. But that's another story. No, 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 repeat that, please, because yeah. I think people need to know that. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's all about the food that if, if you cannot digest it well, it cannot, it cannot become you. <laughs> it will go through you. Yeah, or be And we've stored, all experienced that. Or be stored <laughs> somewhere in you. To be used at a moment that your body thinks, ah, now I can use that. Or, um, yeah, or it, it's it's stored somewhere where you really don't want it to be stored. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so it's really important that we realize that the digestion part is the bridge yeah. between the energy that you find in the supermarket or in the grocers yeah. or whatever, and then becoming you. Yes. What's in between is digestion. Yeah. So without the digestion, there's yeah. Hmm. Who are you then? Yeah. Right. And okay. I th- yeah, and it's always and that's something I always tell my clients. From I can see from what they eat, what kind of disbalances they have. Right. So mostly. But also, and more importantly. Is, and that's what we're going to in, go into yeah. now, is the whole process that goes in front of the eating. I yeah. mean, it's not, yeah. we're, not yeah. e- we're not eating yet. So, no. so no, we start, w- but it's the realization. Yeah. So with, with food is the basics and um, this is your vital energy that you're building. And you can do this on so many layers. Yeah. And it's good to realize to really deep inside of you realize what food can do for yep. you. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think uh, maybe to go back, because in preparation of this uh, podcast, we listened, uh, w- together we listened to a video of, or watched a video <laughs> of Mark Rasmus yep. about the hermetic view on, on eating, eating, food and everything. Yeah. And it was really beautiful because he took it even a step further saying... Ah, uh, if you sit there with your food, realize where the food is coming from. Yep. So not just where you bought it in a supermarket or a farmer's market or wherever. or and But it was a farmer who, who planted the seed 
in the ground. Who nurture it and let it grow. But before the seed, it was in a plant and so on and so on. And yeah, and the plant needs the environment. It needs yeah. the soil, but it also needs the sun, right? And Without the sun, no food on your table. Yeah, right? and the sun is the source of all. So if you want to look back where and if you want to be thankful for your food the sun is at the the source yeah the source of all life yeah but on the other side if you eat the food it becomes part of you and it becomes a part of your journey Wow, and it's, that's so beautiful, isn't it? That you can go that way back so that the next time you have a spoonful of soup and you look at it, you're like, wow, this is actually old. And it, it's, and, and it makes and it you... Doesn't, I, I don't mean old and it's, like <laughs> it's beyond the expiring date. <laughs> this no. is probably a language thing. But what I mean is my, this plant had a seed and the seed comes from a plant and this plant comes yeah. from a seed and... How long does that go back? It's incredible. Yeah. And when it's you think the about same it. with yeah. you. And the same and with same you. With you. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're like a medium, right? Yeah. It goes yeah. through you yeah. and it yeah. becomes you yeah. and it becomes your your doing. It becomes your yeah. uh, becomes your dreams. It becomes your, you know. And, uh, and part yeah. of eternity. Yeah. Yeah. So, and where will you be after this uh, life? Where will you go to and 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 the food that you eat will become part of that absolutely yep. so this is very deep yeah um but it it made again made me realize oh it it's even further it's um yeah everything around you is is your your um how do you say this you're part of the universe. <laughs> yeah, it's an ever-changing, and, evolving... Yeah. And and all around you is energy yeah. and your energy and your absorbing energy. Yeah. So it, it makes it much more complete and Yeah, um, it puts connected. it in a large, large yeah. perspective, right? A more holistic yeah. approach to uh, not just having a bite and then eat yeah. and that's it, right? So yeah. that's what this is all about. So let's, let's start at, at what we can do <laughs> yeah. um, and start with Ooh. preparation. Yeah, because that was... We went really deep in the first uh, five minutes already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're done. No. We're done. No, no, no. Um, so yeah, it it all starts with the preparation. It all starts where where do you buy your food? Uh, make that conscious decision. Yeah. Um, like we, well, when we first got married. Um, I would just buy the things that my mom would buy because <laughs> that was where I grew up with. And it's what you know. And that's what you know. But in time, um, I started to really think about what do we eat? And nowadays, mostly we get from uh, uh, organic food. Yeah. So that it starts with the realization, what we just talked about, is that the food yeah. is becoming you. Yeah. Right. So who you want to be. Um Etc. Etc. So that's that's really important. And so we decided to go biological completely, right? Yeah. It's organic. It's the only thing we eat. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and also, of course, we have our garden here with all the herbs and um, yeah. And especially, well, in this season, there's not too much growing, but uh, yeah, we will we'll nurture and love our plants <laughs> and put that in our food, which. Yeah. You know, makes it uh, makes it more part of us. Yeah. So yeah. The, the 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 highest quality you can afford is uh, is the most yeah. important, yeah. right? Because well, it's going to become you. So yeah. So that's that's the uh, and and the connection with the food. Where does it come from? Does it feel good? Um, yeah. And and also the the taste the, and all the the different products that you can blend together well i think it's and that's m probably for another podcast but of course having a, a method is yeah. very important yeah. here right it's just knowing what, what what do you digest well what are the kinds of yeah. food that's going to help you etc etc but that's that's another podcast because yeah. i, I want to focus more yeah. on you know but then you're gonna cook exactly and and how do you cook do you have a uh, a nice space where you can 
you know, where you feel good. Uh, our kitchen is the center of the house. Yeah. And it's uh, over there. <laughs> yeah, we're looking at our <laughs> kitchen. And, but it's, um, yeah, if I cook, for me, cooking is always a time of relax. Well, not always, but most of the time I get into a relaxed state. I love cooking. So, um, yeah, I like to, to really put my love and attention in the cooking while I'm cooking. I think we've learned that as well, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's it, it, taking really the time to cook yeah. uh, things. It's, 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 it's breaking into a circle it's like, okay, this feels better. The, f- the food is received better. So uh, this much attention and, yeah. and, and how do you say, the state of mind almost that you have yeah. while cooking has become such a normal thing for us yeah. now is that it's, it's a state of relaxation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's funny while you say this because... When we first got together, uh, I had all all sorts of cookbooks, but we would not cook from cookbooks all the time, uh, and no. and we would still use some pre-cooked ingredients. <laughs> like uh, 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 if we made a pasta, uh, the sauce would come from a, a can or something, and but that that uh, that changed. Well, we're we're married. We cooked a lot more. Um, Jamie Oliver was a great inspiration to start to to cook from scratch. Um, And so it came more and more and more into our lives to to really take time for cooking. Yeah, absolutely. You have to have this focus. And I think it it, it takes some time to to well make the shift that I was talking about. It's like yeah. oh this feels so much better. So it's 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 a natural progression I think yeah. that it went into and um, um, awesome. You know I mean yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's yeah. And I think I remember one time because um, when I lived in Thailand with a, a Thai family, I was exchange student and they got up every morning very early to go to the market to get the food and then to prepare the food as a family most of the days i was a bit too lazy to get involved in the process and they were so in tune with each other that they sometimes if i was up they made me sit in the corner and just look at them (laughs) (laughs) but when i did help my whole sister was like oh no 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 you don't do this right you have to cut it all precisely and don't rush it yeah (laughs) i would like oh we were so used to being hasty all the time you know and and they take their time yeah but you could also see in her it's like well, she visited us in Holland yeah. and she would make sure she was way, way up uh, before, before we got up and, uh, and, and, yeah. and preparing the food because she didn't trust us. No, she didn't. Nope. No. Nope. She was looking at us in shock sometimes. It's like, why are these people so hasty with the, and the not, food? And, yeah, yeah. and not concentrated, you know? Yeah. Well, that was because of our energy level. Yeah. yeah. So that's the cycle, right? Yeah. So the more gain you get from the better food and the preparation, the more energy you have. And to always make a conscious decision is like, oh, I'm feeling a bit tired now, but I'm still going to cook and take my time to yeah. make something that's yeah. going to help me move forward, right? Instead of when you have lower energy, you'll be hasty or decide to go for quicker food. And that yeah. mostly means bad food, right? Yeah. So... Yeah. I think that was a huge shift in uh, oh, in, the, yeah. in the preparation. But you need energy for preparation. Absolutely. You need yeah. it. Yeah. But from this preparation comes more energy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a cycle. It's a cycle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hope that helps, you know. Yeah. And 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 uh, I do remember when when I was young we would sing in the kitchen while preparing. We don't do that actually, Irma. We don't really sing to our food or chant or... It's, it's a, <laughs> it's we're going to do that again, right? <laughs> we can try that. <laughs> we'll, we'll try different styles of music and uh, <laughs> yeah. mm. some Metallica and no, then the next no, day no. some Mozart. And yeah, then... that sounds better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then you prepare your food. Yeah. And, and you sit at the table, you sit down... And, and then it's a good time to really focus on the food before you start uh, eating it. 
in in all cultures you uh there is praying is R- something ritual yeah a ritual that yeah. you do before really eating i still grew up with that a little bit yeah. i mean we sort of lost it when i yeah. was young but it was really praying coming from a you know christian background but Me that too. we yeah. sort of lost that right yeah. Uh, yeah. along the way and i think uh, yeah, that was the same for us. We lost that as well. But but I, no one ever explained to me what we were actually doing. No. Right? It was more like okay, you were, you know, everyone was closing their eyes. You know, the, the adults did, and yeah. then the children would just glance around <laughs> and trying to hold their laughing. Right. Yeah. It's, but no one told us uh, what we're what we're about to tell you. Yeah. And this and might I, be one of the most important parts of the yeah. whole podcast, right? And I think we had this prayer. That I didn't really understand. Right. <laughs> it yeah, was yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was to uh, just later when I was grown up, I would understand the words that we were saying. It was different. Sometimes you see people holding hands and saying, uh, uh, "Thank you for for the food that we have on our table." But we would say uh, like a prepared prayer. I don't know. It's I, like a standard thing that you would say, yeah, right? Yeah. Although I remember my grandfather, who was really into it, he would say, <laughs> he would start, you know, reciting some part of the Bible, and everyone was like, "The food is getting cold." Uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, you know, um, God bless him, right? Yeah. But uh, and I, yeah. I think this is not the message that you uh, th- that we promote praying as such, but it is uh, it is this moment to. To get into a quiet space, to get into a space where you make room for eating. And when you just worked or you did other activities before before eating, this gives you this time to kind of uh, tune yeah, out. Bridge it, right? You bridge yeah. from one state to another state yeah. and prepare for receiving the food. Yeah. And well... As Mark was saying also, like in a restaurant, busy restaurant and going out with friends, uh, which is not happening at this moment, but (laughs) that's really hard, right? But in in home situations, you know, in your regular routine with food, it's actually very good to, and this is, I think, very important, is with what intention are you going to take the food? And that's, I think, what praying actually Actually, means, right? Right. um, so you're thankful for the food. You go back to the sun, as Mark said. You know, yeah. you, you go back, and then, but you also go in front. It's like, how do you want this food to re- be received, and yeah. what do you want the food to do? Because if you're working, let's say, well, your qigong people or meditation people, it's like you're working on stillness. You're working on a certain thing. You want to build energy. You want to build an intention. This food can help you do that, but you can also send it that way. You can say. May this food help me becoming a master of stillness or becoming a master of meditation yeah. or whatever. Uh, make me realize what my purpose is or okay. something. You know, big questions like that. Your food can actually help you because food is energy and you, you, your mental body can help shift this to a clear intention. And then don't be surprised if it works. <laughs> exactly and that's that's the whole thing beautiful and that is beautiful yeah so we've experimented with with that and that's law of attraction yeah and it's amazing that's where the magic is oh yeah yeah and since training hermetics also with mark osmos this has become normal right so that's i mean and i think this is one of the most important things because even if you're in a situation where the food is maybe not the, of the quality that you would hope it would be, you can still decide to be thankful for it oh, absolutely. and make sure that you receive it well and give it an intention. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not to win the lottery or something like that. You know? <laughs> but yeah. Although, you know, we could, we could try that. No. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's yeah. for personal success, right? Yeah. For growing as a human yeah. being and helping others and moving forward on your path. This food can actually help you. Yeah. So and that's uh, that's an important thing. And that's really the Qigong approach. That's totally yeah. Qigong approach. Yeah. Everything we've done so far is uh, in this podcast is, is very Qigong, but this might be the most 
intentional. Yeah. It's like, okay, you know, well, everything yeah. is intentional here. But yeah. um, this one is special. It's really yeah. special. It, it, it's like, oh, wow, that really makes a difference. It's alchemy, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. from... It comes from the sun, and it, you know, that's where yeah. where it starts, <laughs> the and source. then and then you can direct it somewhere, yeah, to help you move forward in life. Wow, we could stop now, right? <laughs> this could be it, right? So yeah. we're not there yet, but no. you, I, I hope you get the meaning of this. This yeah. is uh, this is re really powerful, and yeah. that's why we are, why we want to integrate food into your practice because it's such an important part that's it's why this so combination yeah. yeah and with qigong we all realize that breath regulates the the chi and everything but your food come on yeah it's yeah. it's huge you yeah. know yeah so um yeah so and then so you're sitting there you've done your intention to to the thing that you're eating and then you eat Normally, we've been taught to taste our food in our mouth. And then it's kind of gone into your body and, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, then yeah. it's gone. <laughs> but I was like, what's she going to say now? Yeah, yeah I, I, I <laughs> get you. you. Understand? Yeah, I do, so I it's, do. It's up to here and then, well, then it disappeared to, uh, until it's, well. Well, but then you're busy talking and having yeah. a good time or blah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. you know, or watching the TV or, you know. Yeah. But we're yeah. not doing that, right? No. But you so, know, yeah. so it's important to feel. So not important. Uh, it's not just what it does in your mouth. It is what it does into your system, for your system, into your body. Where does it go? Where do you feel the energy? Normally, yeah. if you're not so intentional, you feel it when it's not going well. <laughs> you have a stomach ache or you feel like... Uh, but if that's two hours later, you might not even realize that it's connected yeah. to what you've been eating. Yeah. I mean, I'm talking about personal experience here, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, that's where I, yeah. where I was oh, once upon a time. I, I, same here. But what we're doing actually is that we're, we're observing the digestion process. And that starts with how well it's received. Is this giving me energy? Yeah. Or, or, or is it taking yeah. energy? Yeah. How do you feel? Is there like an after dinner dip? Yeah. Or is there an after dinner boost? Yeah. How, how would you say that? Yeah. It's like, oh, I feel great. I feel good. This observing is very Qigong. This is yeah. very being mindful yeah. and being mindful yeah. of all these processes. Yeah. It's like, how is it received? How do I feel? How do I sleep? Am I a lot in my head? Is there more stillness around me? Yeah. All these things are... And that's exactly why all my clients have to journal. I let them journal for a week on their food, how they feel, how they sleep, how their emotions were during the day. And, and then you can see, ah... Now I understand. Yep. If I eat this, I feel unstable or I feel very angry or whatever. Um, or when I eat this, oh, I, I felt really good. And that's okay. how they discovered, people, the law of cause and effect. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what it is, it right? It is. But some people are yeah. scared of it. Yeah. Some people are scared that you mention a journal. Yeah. Because sometimes we do realize we're not, you know, yeah. um, mindful enough of. of yeah. So, but these brave people who come to you and yeah. actually do the work, you know, it's so great to see them yeah. wake up to yeah. that oh, yeah. cause and effect thing yeah. Yeah. and uh, making different decisions. Yeah. And, and you it, help them with that, of course. Yeah. Exactly. I just, I or just, I help them see what what they eat and what kind of effect it has on their body and then they can choose i can see <laughs> yeah i can see <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so yeah but it's huge yeah it's huge and uh, but if you uh if you're very intentional and if you've practiced this for for a longer time you don't need a journal no it's just a, a matter of feeling and it's feeling just after you've eaten and a couple of hours after 
and and you can feel where where did it where does your food go well what that sort of, of mindfulness energy? is just normal for you just like your regular mindfulness practice like yeah. sitting on your cushion observing yeah. uh, coming and rising of thoughts it's the same <laughs> the coming of the food and the going of the yeah. food and how it you know it's the same thing it yeah. becomes part of your yeah. being yeah. and then that's also important i think is that you you realize that you have more choice conscious choice of you know going back to where we begin it's like the preparation yeah. the, the the choices you make yeah, yeah. that's become that becomes like a large circle yeah. as well right oh yeah and 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 you every time you prepared a meal with love and care it's so much there is so much more enjoyment when you eat it no the tastes because <laughs> the... yeah. there is all this love and attention that's on your plate and you and you smell it and and you've been preparing it so you yeah you've been been, pre- been preparing this this fresh pesto right <laughs> and then I you can... and everything's organic in there you know and everything is just and you make it you make it and you you and you prepare it and then it's and you mix it with the pasta yeah and you have this first bite and you're like if you want to know what's alignment or, or sorry enlightenment <laughs> <laughs> that's a big part of enlightenment right yeah. if I mean if the food is so good that yeah. it shuts you up yeah yeah oh, wow yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. I think we're going to cook I'm after hungry. this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe these people too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, wow. Um, and then one last thing. So yeah. we've <clears throat> been talking about the realization. What does the food do into your body and your yeah. system? Where does it come from? And how does it become part of you? We've been talking about preparation. We've mm-hmm. talking about the rituals before you're eating, like praying uh, or blessing your food. Oh, wow. Uh, We've been talking about feeling while eating your food. So being mindful. Being very mindful and and thankful and aligned with your food uh, while eating. And so there's one, one more thing, and that is when do you eat? Is it aligned with the energy around you and uh, like in the traditional Chinese medicine and and in every um, traditional nutrition breakfast is the most important meal of the day in the morning you need your energy and also um, the stomach and the spleen are the most active in the morning that's when they want to have the food to digest. Right. So that they're part of the organ clock, right? Some people yeah. might have heard of this. Yeah. Maybe you can explain a little bit about that. That's like a cycle through yeah, a 24 si- hours. Yeah, 24 hours. And every organ has a time, two hour time slot where it's most active. And between seven and nine, it's the stomach in the morning. Yeah. And from 9 till 11, it's the spleen. So the spleen in uh, traditional Chinese medicine is the organ for transforming the food into energy, into blood. Can I say digestion? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're going to definitely do a whole podcast on the on the yeah. organ clock because that's very, very interesting. Yeah. yeah. You, you, it, you're going to love that because it gives so much insight yeah. and aha moments yeah. that is, that's just yeah. crazy. But for now, it's most important that you realize that yeah. uh, the stomach and the spleen are most active in the morning. So that's the biggest meal. Yeah. In uh, lunchtime, it's a bit less. And then for dinner, it's just... Uh, eat like a beggar. Eat le- exactly. Yeah. You've I've been, done my homework. You've been reading the books I've been well. married to an <laughs> expert. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, be mindful of wh- when you eat. And, uh, and of course, uh, think about all these points. And try to implement them um, with what does work for you. Absolutely. And, and it will work magic for you. Um, and, and to really get aligned with your food. Wow, it's the ultimate transformation, isn't it? <laughs> it's just so beautiful. It absolutely, yes. So, hope you liked it. Like and subscribe if you did. Yeah. And thanks for subscribing if you've already done so. 
and uh, hope to yeah. uh, talk to you soon. Yeah. If any questions, please leave it in the comments and uh, we'll get back to you. Okie dokie. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>